grace and joy to you, family, and welcome back. This is week number four of the MANA episodes for, for March, and I'm excited that you're here. Let's jump right into our study. Open your Bibles with me to John chapter 19, and let's close out this lesson looking at verse 30. The Bible says, so when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head, and he gave up the spirit. The last three weeks, we've been talking about the ministry of friendship at the cross and how Jesus blessed his mom and gave her a new son. He blessed his disciple, gave him a new assignment. And we talked about how you and I ought to be blessings to our families. And we ought to be reminded that they're made in the image of God. And we have a wonderful opportunity to minister to them. But something even more arresting than these three powerful weeks we've encountered is this final week where Jesus here, after giving these assignments, knows and he takes the sour wine that's been offered to him on the cross, says it's finished. It's a powerful word. In the Greek word, it's called tetelestai. And this word was used when artists would complete an amazing piece of work, they would say tetelestai. When a slave would report to his master that his duties were done for the day, he would come in and say, Master, to tell us that. It was a word that says it's finished, it's complete. And here's the key. It meant it's finished now, it's finished tomorrow, and it's finished in the future. Wow. When Jesus uses these words, guess what he's making reference to? My sins and your sins. When he dies on the cross on this glorious Friday day, he says, it is finished. It is complete. I'm dying for their sins today, tomorrow, and forever. Wow. To tell us die. Guess what, family? God loved you that much. He gave you the ministry of friendship to last today, tomorrow, and forever. Why? Because he was our friend as well. He loved us. He was our savior. He died on a cross for us. And he took our sins today, tomorrow, and cast them into the no longer. And I'm so glad for that today. So be encouraged as you press on in your cohorts. Be encouraged this week as you give God your very best, your all, and as you serve one another with a Christ-like heart and mindset. Can I pray for you now? Father God, thank you. Thank you for the reminder that it is finished and that you paid it all on the cross for us. Thank you so much for loving us in that way. And then thank you for the ministry of friendship. Help us to be faithful servants, to love one another, care for one another, honor one another as we love, care, follow, and honor you. We thank you for our time this month. Bring us back again at the next appointed time where we can again be excited about your word and be encouraged to follow you in every area of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This has been a man of moment. I look forward to seeing you next month when we can again study God's word and grow in his grace. God bless you and God keep you.